Makes Me Wanna Holler by Nathan McCall. Chapter One, Get Back. The fellas and I were hanging out on our corner one afternoon when the strangest thing happened. A white boy, who appeared to be about 18 or 19 years old, came pedaling a bicycle casually through the neighborhood. I don't know if he was lost or just confused, but he was definitely in the wrong place to be doing the tourist bit. Somebody spotted him and pointed him out to the rest of us. Look, what's that motherfucker doing riding through here? Is he crazy? It was automatic. We all took off after him. We caught him on Cavalier Boulevard and knocked him off the bike. He fell to the ground and it was all over. We were on him like white on rice. Ignoring the passing cars, we stomped him and kicked him. My stick partners kicked him in the head and face and watched the blood gush from his mouth. I kicked him in the stomach and nuts, where I knew it would hurt. Every time I drove my foot into his balls, I felt better, with each blow delivered. I gritted my teeth as I remembered some recent racial slight. This is for all the times you followed me around in stores. And this is for the times you treated me like a nigger. And this is for GP, general principle, just cause you white. While we kicked, he lay there, curled up in the fetal position, trying to use his hands to cover his head. We bloodied him so badly that I got a little scared and backed off. The others, seeing how badly he was messed up, moved away too but one dude kept stomping like he going berserk he seemed crazed and consumed in the pleasure of kicking that white boy's ass when he finished he reached down and picked up the white dude's bike lifted it as high as he could above his head and slammed it down on him hard the white guy didn't even flinch he was out cold I feared he might be dead until I saw him breathing we walked away Laughing, boasting, competing for bragging rights about who done the most damage. Man, did you see how red that cracker's face turned when I busted his lip? I almost broke my hand on that ugly motherfucker. Fucking up white boys like that made us feel good inside. I guess we must have been 14 or 15 by then, and it felt so good that we stumbled over each other sometimes trying to get in extra kicks and punches. When we bum rush white boys, it made me feel like we were beating all white people on behalf of all blacks. We called it getting some get back. Securing revenge for all the shit they heaped on blacks all these years. They were still heaping hell on us and especially on our parents. The difference was cats in my generation weren't taking it lying down. After my older brother Dwight got his driver's license, a group of us would pile into my stepfather's car some evenings and cruise through a nearby white neighborhood, searching for people walking the streets. we spot some whites, get out, rush over, and using sticks and fists, try to beat them to within an inch of their lives. Sometimes, when I sit back and think about the crazy things the fellas and I did, and remember the hate and violence that we unleashed, it's hard to believe I was once part of all that. I feel so removed from it now that I've left the streets. Yet when I consider white America and the way it's treated blacks, our random rage in the old days makes perfect sense to me. Looking back, it's easy to understand how it all got started.